Today marks 100 days until the Tokyo Olympics, a summer games with no shortage of challenges. Yeah, but the host city and the hopeful athletes are moving full steam ahead at this point. NBC's Liz McLaughlin has a look at some of the excitement from Charlotte, North Carolina, where Olympic trials are underway. Mascots, lights, and Olympic rings mark a milestone on the road to Tokyo as the countdown clock hits 100 days to the summer games. It's going to be special to get everyone together to celebrate something in sports and in the world since we've all been through these rough, rough 15 months or so. But the global crisis is still ongoing. Japan now facing a resurgence of cases, forcing the Olympic torch relay off public streets in Osaka today. Just the latest course correction in the prolonged journey to the Tokyo Olympics. To have that same energy for a whole another year, you know, it was really challenging. For some of the youngest members of Team USA, the delay meant an opportunity. This extra year has given me time to get stronger, um, get psyched for the games. New faces and new sports at this year's games. Skateboarding, surfing, karate and sport climbing at the Olympics for the first time. I can't wait for more people to be introduced to climbing as it's on this world stage. A stage with a mostly virtual audience, with only Japanese fans allowed in person. Another blow to the budget of what's on track to be the most expensive Olympics ever. But organizers and athletes are determined to succeed. And I'm like, can I do it again? Can I be this good? And can I repeat what I did last Olympics? And I feel like that's what motivates me. Anxious for Olympic glory as the finish line nears. A young woman you just saw in that story, Evie Liebfarth, just 17 years old, made Team USA today. It was an incredible moment, and it's a lifelong dream of hers. In fact, she wrote in a kindergarten assignment that she had a goal of going to the Olympics one day. Now, before finishing high school, she's accomplished that. In Charlotte, North Carolina, I'm Liz McLaughlin, NBC News.